Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to use the MySQL workspace. So first of all I need to start the MySQL server. So here I am going to use the exam. So here you can see I am using the exam. So I am going to start the MySQL server. So it has started. Uh, it is showing in the green color so it has started successfully. So we can minimize it. So next I am going to open the MySQL workbench. So you can see here there are multiple options which is given the MySQL workbench. So you can see MySQL utilities were given here, database migration option was given here and bug reporting option was given here and these are some of the links which was given so that you can open your internet for like forums and blogs regarding the MySQL workbench and this is the scripting shell which you are going to use for running the commands in your MySQL servers so right now I am using the MySQL server in the exam control panel so let's start by creating a connection to the MySQL server so here you can see the MySQL connections here you can see a plus tab so I'm just going to click it so it was asking for a connection name first so let's give a name like MySQL server and let it be the same uh, in like TCP IP and don't make any changes here and you can see you can also have another options like TCP IP over SSH and MySQL fabric management node this is a new concept which is used by the MySQL and you can also use the local socket pipe so I'm going to use the standard TCP IP option for connecting the MySQL that is the, the, for connecting the RDBMS and here you can see uh, more options like for connecting the SSL you need to give a key file you need to also have a certificate file and the cipher which you need to give for the key file and these all things you need to have and next you can also use the compression method while connecting to the MySQL and right now I'm not going to use the SSL option so simply I'm going to give the hostname as a 127.0.0.1 and the port is 3306 and the username is as root and let the default schema be blank so you can check the connection first so here you can see it was asking for a connection warning just give it as it is and they give continue anyway and here you can see the connection was made successful to the host 127.0.0.1 that is a local host the port 3306 and the user is root and there is no SSL enabled a successful connection was made by this confirmation you are sure that MySQL was connected successfully to a MySQL server so let's give OK and select OK and here you can see the MySQL server was connected successfully to the local host I'm just going to open the server just double click the option here and the connection warning was given select continue anyway and here you can see the workbench options and this is the so here this is the management console which was given here and this is the instance startup and shutdown options for the MySQL and these are the schema options which is given here so let's check the server status so here you can see the the server was running using the MySQL socket from the exam and it was using a 10.1.9 MariaDB MySQL version and here there is no connection here so So all the options are good and let's check whether any client connections are made so there is no connection made here
and let's check the instance so it was running successfully and here you can see the message log any other errors which you try to run while executing the MySQL command so let's go for the schemas and here you can see the schemas and there is no database which is given here just refresh it no so there is no database which is given here so in my next video I will show you how to create the MySQL database and execute the commands and how to import the old database and how to export the new database so I will tell you in detail so thanks for watching the video and keep on watching for more MySQL tutorials and thanks for watching the video again thank you bye bye